The use of an electric wire running along the inside of the fence is there to prevent the horse uh, from kicking or leaning um, on this fence line. You can see that early on the horse had started to kick uh, and again we have stallions out here so they're going to be pretty active. Um, in, in their pen, uh, but it's actually uh, bent the wire out. So this electric strand will help keep uh, the horses away from the actual fence line itself. Another thing you'll notice is our corner posts are quite a bit larger in diameter uh, than the post along the rail of the paddock. And our corner posts are also braced uh, on each corner. And this helps ensure that your fence is gonna stay straight over the long haul and doesn't start leaning in. Uh, one of the biggest mistakes I see uh, with fencing are uh, corner posts that are either inadequate in side, size or poorly braced. And then you get a lot of leaning along the fence and you also don't have a secure place uh, to secure a gate. Uh, gates are usually located and the corner of the fence line. And with any gate, you wanna make sure that you have a latch that cannot be opened by a curious uh, horse, especially some of our horses actually become quite good at being the escape artist. I actually like these Kiwi Keepers. Um, they're pretty secure. Um, I, I personally have never seen a horse that was able to open it, uh, but it's actually very easy to drop in and then the little keeper keeps it secure. But given that, I would still prefer to see this fence double locked. And even though this chain is fairly small in diameter, if somebody forgets or doesn't do a good job in using this top latch, uh, the second latch will still keep the door secure. So uh, double uh, latches on gates are always a good thing. It just makes you think twice before you leave the pen. Another thing we want to discuss are gates for our pastures. And probably uh, your steel round piped gates are used the most, most commonly and with good reason. They're, they're pretty safe uh, for horses. You want these openings to be um, big enough so that if a horse does snake their head out, they can still get their head back to the inside of the fence. One thing you don't want to see in a metal gate are any diagonal pieces of metal going across because then a horse can get their head, neck, or leg or hoof stuck in a corner and uh, that can be a real tragedy when you come back out uh, to get your horse. Again, your gates need to be constructed on extremely sturdy hinges which need to be tightened as need be to keep the gate from sagging. You need to have a gate that's easy for one person to get in and out of safely while still leading a horse through it.